Come on in, guys! Righto, welcome, Muya, welcome, Wanga. We're on day four of Survivor. It's been a great ride together. We've got another immunity challenge for you. Are you ready for it? Yeah! All right, this is what the challenge is about. Six of you will run to untie this bag. Get that bag down. You can place the bag at the bottom of the pit. You're going to use these cones, fill it with water. The moment that your pit is full, a ball will drop out. That will release the next four players. You pick up the bag of dominoes. You'll then start packing the dominoes from behind the line to hit your token. The moment the last domino runs, hits your token. That releases your sliding puzzle bullet and finish the sliding puzzle for immunity. Survivors, ready? Go! Danny going up for Wanga. She's at the knot. So is the Nashe. There we go. The Nashe down. First, now into the water. Four. Booyah, they are ahead at this time. Come on, Wanga. You have to do this. Still a long way to go. Come on, Wanga. This is it, people. Wanga still stuck. On that back, now there are a few people up there. That's going to make a difference. Getting those knots untied. A little bit of a strategy delay for Wanga. Luan is really holding on. They still got some way to go, Wanga. You are out of it. Now you have to wrestle. Wanga, you have to pick it up. Behind that survivor side. Come on, Wanga. You need to pick it up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, that's it. Next job in! Now it is on to Moya to start building those dominoes and it's not going to be easy. Who's building this puzzle? It is Emma for Moya. You are still in it. That's a great one from Luan. Guys, not a lot to go. Alright, is it going to work? We will only see it has to hit it. You have to try it. There it goes. It's short. You have to stack it over. It is short. Emma thinks she's got it. Let's see if she does. And she's going to give it one more try. Oh, she's again short. Come on, Emma. Emma's opened up the door for Wanga to come back in it. Wanga, you've caught up. Now push it. You guys have done a great job catching up. Yes, that's it. Zander on the sliding puzzle now for Wonga. Wonga back into this challenge. Zander is still stuck on the puzzle. You guys are in it. You only have a limited number of blocks. Spacing is going to be crucial. Zander now figured out Almost the first line. Is she going to have the spacing done accurately? We'll have to see. She's going to give it a go. Damn it! <laughs> For it will count right now. This is it, Survivor, and you never give up. Brandon thinks he's got the top line done. Wanga really needing this. A lot of tribe members so grateful they're not the ones doing this puzzle all on the shoulders of Brandon and Zander. Oh, one guy for a moment thought they have it. Now Zander's picked up the pace. He's got the rhythm now. So is Brandon. This is going to go down to the wire. Anybody can get this. Consider your moves carefully because they can either make it or break it. Now there's some rhythm to it. Let's have a look. Moya thinks they have it. Survivor, 
Gobble Wallace. Out with, out play, out last. Moria! What an epic battle this came to for Wanga and Muya. Wanga coming from behind. You guys were really stuck loosening those three knots up on the pole, but you made up great ground. In Survivor, you never give up. You might be a few tokens behind, but it's not over till the very last moment. So take some encouragement from that. I want to see you back this afternoon and of course there's another twist both of you teams will be joining me tonight for our final tribal council all right So this is a huge step out of my comfort zone going into the bush with 10 other people that are in the same grade as me but I don't necessarily talk to them. Seeing how similar we all are in our lives that we never thought we would ever could be. The slide puzzle was um, intense. Like it was within 5 seconds I got the top line and I felt good and so I knew I was neck and neck with him. And then eventually I started to sort the the second row and the last row that when I tried to rearrange it to go into the same place I actually need to reshuffle the entire thing probably six seconds behind Thunder um, before he finished and six seconds after I finished No way! No way! No way! No way! Guys! Nice. Nice. No! Guys! Nice. No but it is a token I can feel like But guys like literally I was taking out in this one. Oh! Oh! oh. Congratulations, you have found a token nullifier. This nullifier can only be played at the last tribal council before the votes are read and an opportunity to play an advantage is given. I joined Survivor to prove that I have what it takes to win the world's greatest game. And I think the impact I'm having on the game is keeping a positive spirit for everyone. I think the game has impacted me to be more embraceful of nature because I'm quite scared of nature. I, I didn't really know what I was doing, I was just trying to get the puzzle to work. But like whenever you slot a piece into place, three other pieces are out of place again. So you have to really think to get it into place. And Brandon is tough because he's smart and fast. So I really had to sink and I had my sink to encourage me which was nice. But yeah, at the end it was all a blank for me. This male. Nice. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Your next challenge is for a war. Be ready to outplay your opposing tribe as you take a deep dive. Challenge starts at 3 on the beach. Okay. Come on in, guys! All right, welcome, Muya Wanga. It doesn't just look like Survivor. This is Survivor, where anything can happen at any time. So this game is for reward. Who knows, there might just be something that's going to be revealed. But before I get to that, let me show you what you're playing for. Marshmallows, oh cappuccinos, chocolate brownies, freshly made. Is it worth playing for? Yes. Woo! All right, so look at that. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, yes. 
What's that? Give it up for Mr. Brutrek, Jeffrey Burschma, Mrs. Maria, Jeffrey Schrauber. A warm welcome to the teachers of Global Leadership Academy. Give it up. So this is it. It is a reward challenge and it is going to be tough. We've got three tribes playing for reward. So let's get over it and see what we're playing for. But this is the challenge. The first person in your tribe will cut through the rope. When they've cut through the rope, the rock drops. That releases the second person to run through the slide, onto the rock, untie your tribe's bags. Once that's done, you say go. That releases the third person to do the same. They're missing the raft, but they're heading all the way to those second sandbags. Once that's unhooked, you shout go. The rest of the tribe runs down the slide, around the second corner, back first two of the tribes, hitting all two their tiles, proceeds to the next round. I'll give you a minute to strategize, and we'll get it on. Now you can go, teachers go! It is chaos here! Come on, Wanga, go, go, go! And Leonie's got it! She's got this super token! In comes the rest of them! Now they're gonna start hitting these stars with sandbags once! Everybody is in. Gotta wait till your entire tribe is with you. It is absolute chaos here on Survivor Reward today. Come on, teachers. One more for Wanga, one more for Muya. They are in it, teachers. Hit one, now only neck and neck. First one to hit, teachers are in. Muya. Yes, Moya! Yeah. Yeah. All right, congratulations to Moya and the Onis. You guys made it through to the next round. Moya, teachers, hidden between those four flagpoles is six rings, six pink ones, six yellow ones. Once you have your six and you have to land three of those six circles, to win reward. On my go, survivors ready? Go! All right, they're collecting the rings now. It's not very deep. It's not very deep. You have to get six of your own color. Emma's got the head start here. She's got two already. The teachers are feeling for it. The teachers got one. Mr. Wells got another one. All right, there's six for each color in here. Can they find it? Who's going to finish first with their six? You can swap out if you need to. You can swap out. If you tap out, someone else can take your place. All right, Corbin and Zaydin switching places. Charles, can you feel when you dig it? We got another one. This is Survivor Tribal Wars. All right, so there's some strategy. Teachers organizing themselves. They're going to reverse back, hoping they get that. Give it up, give it up. Someone needs to keep track of these rings. They're flying all over the place. All right, come 
Alright! Oh, 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 in and out! Miss! Miss! Wait, dude. Launch one! Yeah! Oh, the second one! One more for Mulia, and they are gonna win! Oh, in and out! Let this be the time we have a one yes. Good, that's you have to win the extra one. Yeah. 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 Everybody, what a challenge. Did you enjoy it? I am a little bit surprised at how competitive the teachers were. Unfortunately, the teachers couldn't take the win. But that's why, that's, that's why these guys are here and that's why they are the ultimate survivors. And we'll, we'll come back next year for you guys, that's for sure. <laughs> on this part, on this challenge, there was something hidden. And Wanga, you got and earned this. <laughs> All right. For Muya, you guys have reward. Who's going to come and fetch it? So, Josh, come up. I'll see you both at Tribal Council tonight where we're going to wrap things up and cast our final votes. Head on out! Congratulations, this is a clue to a hidden immunity token. Your foot might have missed the spot, but just as you step to find your mail, in the ground below there is another kind of detail. A hidden immunity token that will leave the other tribes heartbroken. Oh. Woo! Okay! Okay, okay, so there's okay! Two of them. It might be the first time. So, um, Danny Oh. Just yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's the same, let like, Okay, so it's the same immunity mm -hmm. token. So I think it's the nullified one is probably still somewhere there. Because the. It's basically this. Woo! So, we need to read the one about the. Yeah! Yeah, we have to play with my aunt. They don't have the aunt for each game we're going to edit in my gebouw. So, I was very scared. I was very excited. There was. I was part in the craft of the guys in the middle, so I was like, there was also something the bar of the I think the other day, my net, you know, the steer, but the bed made the broad, for my art and everything, I even made the same. Red and an opportunity to play, an advantage is given. Once they give us an opportunity to play an advantage, we quickly say we have an advantage. Damn it! Okay, wait, I'm fine. Okay, so it's gonna be difficult to like move around and stuff because there's not leveled ground and stuff, so you can't just sit anywhere and you have to be careful of the slipping down to the river and stuff like that. At least I got a point for what the yeah, it was just it was stressed in you like just you, you want to win, and if you lose, you feel bad for your team. You're like, ah, oh, I disappointed people. Have a good time, man. Be nice to each other, have a positive attitude, and just pushing through. Even if we lose, we have fun. All right, welcome to our final Tribal Council. But tonight, it's a little bit different. We've got both tribes at Tribal Council, and it's an opportunity for us to really talk about what's happened the last few days. Can you resonate to that, that there's something that's happened to me personally over the last few days? I'm not gonna be the same come Monday morning back at school. Also, if you take a rest, you're always scared. Oh no, I'm gonna do something wrong. I'm gonna disappoint somebody. I'm gonna mess up something. 
But I feel like you can actually do so well and that's something I'm taking home with me today. But the win is just temporary and like the friendships that we're building, the team that we are established is much more important wow. and it also go it will go further like after the survivor we'll see. That is powerful. That is really powerful. Thank you, Leone. But I feel like being positive really does change a lot. It helps motivate you so that for the next community challenge or even reward challenge, you're just so pumped up and excited. And I feel like that also just, it impacts the tribe as well. So I feel like taking that, this positivity with me to school is something that will benefit me and everyone else a lot. Uh, I think what I'm taking away from Survivor is all these connections I made with these people. Yeah. I made a lot of new friends and I don't think it's going to be the same at school. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of you in agreement with him, right? I mean, all of you, I think. Before Redemption Forest, how many of you have purposefully put away all distractions because that is what Redemption Forest was. It's a place where you're at solo. Only you and the Lord. How, how many of us do that on a daily basis? Do you see the value in that? We had to create that for some of you to experience that one-on-one -on -one with the Lord without any distraction. Okay, I'd like you to think of one word that describes your own journey, your personal journey on Survivor. Privilege. Hey, cool. The involvement. Self-development. To persevere. Relationships. Humbleness. Growing. Motivation. Patience. Competitive. Discipline. The other things. Adventurous. Loving. Drive. Humility. Risk. Eye opening. Appreciation. Team. Yeah, who of you know what Muya and Wanga actually means? All right, it's not two words that we just thought up, right? It actually means my soul bless the Lord. How's that? Every time we were calling out, Muya, Wanga, we were saying, let our souls bless the Lord. How's that for strategy from our part, right? That all of who you are, all of who you will be, because I've said that the other night, survivor and this won't be the greatest thing that you do in your life. The Lord has so much more planned for you. And you know what? The fact that you are on Survivor, He taught you a couple of things which you guys mentioned that is critical in equipping you for the future plans and purposes that He has for your life. So you, you can't think of this experience just as a game. There's no way. Also with the Redemption Island, I was also really scared of the spiders. But for like the first 20, 20, 30 minutes, I had almost like this. It was for the first time in years that my head is actually being completely clear. And I've been just just quiet in myself. Just with nothing going else on until I got scared of the spiders because they started moving. But <laughs> those 30 minutes were an amazing 30 minutes. And if I didn't come here, I would not have experienced those 30 minutes. And I'm glad I came. Wow. Yeah, I think I've opened up a lot more and I think I've learned a new few new skills and um, I like that um, I've learned more important the value of teamwork. What I wrote on my application was I want to grow in myself and also in relationships with others and in relationship with the Lord. This was such a valuable experience for me to meet um, so many amazing people and also learn so much about myself and my strengths and of course to grow closer to the Lord through all of that. Mm -hmm. So I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say, on my boxes were check. I was challenged by everyone. My, my mental ability has been shown to me um, how far I can persevere. And yeah, I think it was, it was a very good opportunity for me. Um, to push myself to the limit. And I, I never knew that I could actually go that far. When I signed up for Survivor, I, I don't think I was thinking like straight straight because I was like, what am I doing? But yeah, now I'm here and I'm actually happy I'm here and I never knew that I could go that far, like physically and mentally, emotionally, everything, spiritually. In, in my tribe, we really did create a great bond and I wish I also got a chance to create a great bond with the other tribe because they also seem very, very interesting. Um, and yeah. I'm happy that, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy that we all perse persevered and pushed through. All right, so where we are at the game at this time is the evening before the 
final immunity challenge tomorrow morning quite early right to just make sure that if there's anybody here with a hidden advantage and you'd like to play yeah! now would be the time to do so this was very quick I, that's why i've got the camera because i'm going to check it was a massive reaction from everybody in front of me. You guys are serious about it. All right, it's a hidden advantage. Munya, you guys got up first. We checked it. You have the option to nullify one of Wanga's tokens. Do you play it? Yes or no? All right, this is a hidden nullifying token. This nullifies one of the tokens that is on Wanga's token pedestal. All Thank you. All right, this token from Wanga has been nullified and no longer counts. We're going to go over to the vote right now. One person you vote for that you deem fit to carry the title of Survivor. All right, this being our final tribal council and still one more immunity challenge tomorrow morning, I will not be reading the votes tonight. What? But we will see each other at 8 o'clock for a last immunity challenge. Thank you for joining. Head on out. Next time on Survivor.